All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm out here on a river. I honestly don't know where. My whole family's out here today. Yeah, they're gonna set up some tip-ups. I just set up the tent. I actually just broke off on a pike, but most of the marks I'm seeing, I think are crappie. They could be panfish, but they're acting like crappie. They're suspended at five and six feet, and it is almost 10 feet here. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they're crappie. I don't catch crappie much, but you guys will already tell by the title of this video. I don't personally know yet, but we just got out here. It should be a good day of fishing. I'm gonna shut up because I know you guys wanna see me fish, not me talk. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the GoPro. Got him. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a nice crappie. First one of the day. Nice guy. I've not caught much crappie this year, but definitely my biggest, even though it's not that big. But there's more down there got it out all right this is my first one of the day um he's not very big but still nice eater but we're not eating him today there you go This jig may be too big. I definitely want to be on the move because if these fish don't want to bite it, I'm going to check a few other holes. And if those fish don't want it, then I'm going to switch up to a smaller jig. Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh, that's a nice crappie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that, guys. Oh, my God. Engulfed. Literally looks just like the last crappie. Oh, it's like way back there. There we go. That's, that's my biggest crappie of the year. Guys, that was no joke. As soon as I... This is a good keeper, guys. This is like a, I don't even know how long this is. I usually don't go for crappie. And that was as soon as I went outside my tent, I dropped on like a hole four feet away. I don't know how they're not in this hole, but apparently we got this nice one. I think there's more down there. So we're gonna let this guy go. I would usually keep them, but today we're just releasing them. Oh, look at that tank. Okay, buddy. There you go. I was trying to do a nice subtle release, but he had different plans in mind. I've never been here before. This is like a little canal or something, like a creek or something. I've never been here. This is like an hour away. We're probably gonna come back here at least one more time this year since uh, obviously we're catching up and we haven't even been here for an hour yet. See you guys back on the GoPro. I'm probably gonna catch a few more over there. And if I catch one that size or bigger, I'll come back in here with the big camera. Got him. Another crappie. There we go. That one's a little smaller. Third crappie of the day for me, even though it's a little smaller. But there's more down there. So we're going to let that guy go. Oh. And he stole my wax worm. There's more down there. So we'll admire the big ones and let the small ones go right away. I'd rather catch more than mess around with the trying to get a good shot of it and angle and all that. Where are the wax worms? Have you caught any? No, but I just had a tip up. Northern struck it. I wanna go Oh my god, there's like 20 fish on me. Come on. Oh 
Oh my god. Got him. Oh, he just came off. That was a big crappy. Came off. That was a big crappy. Come on. Oh, that was the biggest of the day right there. <sighs> Came off somehow. I don't know how. I kept them pinned clearly. Looks like we've already got another one coming in hot. Got him. This one's smaller. Oh, he came off too. He came off too. He's sitting down there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he was sitting right under the hole. Dang. The last two one, the last two crappy came off. That one was a lot smaller, but still. He got hit on the bottom of the ice because this is like two at least two feet of ice right here and he got hit on the bottom or his like when i reeled up the bottom of the ice slapped him like i forced him up onto the bottom of the ice and i lose a lot of fish that way so i need to figure out how to not do that Oh my god, it's tiny. Yeah, that's just a little guy. Let's see if we can catch his grandpa. Got him. Another little guy. I was trying to change my GoPro angle, but that didn't work. Got him. He's just a little guy. Got him. We keep going down and down in size. Oh my god. Just a little guy. Oh, one's coming in. Got him. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a slab. Holy crap. Let's go. Coming in the old shack. <laughs> to show off the catch a little better because the GoPro never gives it justice. Biggest one of the day right there. I don't know if it's the longest. I think the one of the first ones was the longest, but this is definitely like the biggest like weight probably. This is like a one, at over one pound, maybe a pound and a half probably. I haven't caught many crappie bigger than this, so 
I barely got him out of the hole. The line was about to snap. I could feel the the strands um, deteriorating as I was pulling him up, but I'm definitely going to get a picture of this guy. Got another one, bud. Biggest one of the day. Let's go. I almost lost this guy at the hole. Like, you guys don't even know. There's a dude sitting right next to me, and it was kind of awkward talking to the camera, but basically I had to grab him. I couldn't just lift him out of the hole because I knew the line was going to snap just like, the, just like it did earlier today, but I somehow managed to get him. The camera never shows him justice, but like, I don't think this is my PB. I've definitely caught a bigger one than this. I do not go for crappie very often. I didn't even know there was crappie in here. I just dropped down the middle of this river, and um, I was assuming to catch some little bluegill. I'm giving this guy a lot of screen time here because I never go for them. I only go for these panfish in the winter when I can't catch bass. But we're gonna give him a drink of water. We're gonna get a nice release on this guy. There he goes. That's a big crappie. Oh my God. That was the biggest one of the day for sure. We caught all those little ones and then finally a big one had to appear sometime. Oh, it's getting hot in here. I don't even have a heater. It's like 40 degrees almost. Yeah, it's been warming up. There probably won't be too many more ice fishing videos. The rest of my family is catching a bunch of tip-up fish. Um, nothing big yet. They have, they've just caught a bunch of little pike. I'd way rather focus on these crappies. And I catch pike all summer long, not intentionally just going for bass. So I don't feel the need to go, especially if they're not even big. So I like to go for multi-species in the winter time since they're easier to catch for, in my opinion. And in the summer, I like to go for bass. I'm gonna keep catching these crappies all day long. I don't know how long we're staying, but at least another few hours for sure. Cause they're having fun, I'm having fun. So that means we'll probably stay out here for a while. I'm gonna keep fishing and I'll get back to this big camera if I catch another big one. Got him. Another big one. Oh, let's go. They're literally choking this thing right in the roof of the mouth every time. That one's a little bit bigger. Or that one's a little bit smaller than that last one, but still, that's a nice keeper. Let that guy go. Oh, he's coming up, coming up. Got him. Oh, this feels bigger. Oh my God, this is big. Oh my God, it's a pike. Oh, snapped off. Right the hole. There goes my jig. <sighs> well, this two pound line can't hold up to a pike apparently. All right guys, before I close this one out, I want to show you guys what I've been using and how I've been catching these fish since sometimes you guys are asking in the comments what I use. This is a very basic setup. This is what I was using. I was just using this tiny little tungsten jig. I don't, again, I don't know what brand it is. I used a couple different colors, um, three actually. This was the, since I got broke off on two different pike. And then for the rod, I just have this very cheap, um, what brand is this? Red Zone brand or something? I don't know if that's the brand or the name of the reel, but I'm not very specific here because I don't know personally, but it's just a very cheap rod. You don't need much. Um, if you're going to spend money on anything, I'd recommend spending money on like a transducer or a flash or whatever you want to call it. This is what I got here. This is the Markham flasher. I got this for Christmas. And yeah, if I didn't have this thing, I would not have caught any fish because I suck at ice fishing. I don't even know where to go for ice fishing. That's why I've just been going to that one pond and then one spot on a lake that I found. But we're here on the river. I've never ice fished on a river, I don't think. Maybe a long time ago, but not that I can remember. Come below your biggest crappie. I think mine is like a 13 and a half, maybe 14 at the most. I don't know. It was a long time ago, but I think that's my biggest crappie. Not even that big. So yeah, comment down below your biggest crappie. But anyway, I'm going to end this one off. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next week.